Well, let's be goddamn certain. Okay. We will win this war. Uh, this is gonna last how long? Need to last ten minutes per level. We're level four, so forty minutes. Yeah. So we'll false life. Oh come on, game. Why you do this? Okay. Wow. Ever since you got the Triceratops. Let me try something. Oh yeah, they're like Tyranids. Uh... Bloom should be off, yeah. want to do that. Don't need to. Okay, big. Come on, finish doing the big spell. And drink your potion. Uh, you need to... This. That. That. Uh, okay, so we've got full strength on the first two animal companions. You need to do mage armor on the animal companions. Well, actually, not cookie. Just uh, tickles and fluffy. Uh, a line weapon. Be good aligned. On that. Um, don't need the protection. Uh, we might as well pop it, I guess. Pop that. You. Pop acid more. And then. Oh. And let the buffs commence. Mm. Let's see, we'll go with um, resist, or is it acid? And we definitely want to resist poison communal. Feather step, feather step mass. Oh, and greater magic fang. On each of the animal companions. Quick save, so we don't have to do that again. All right, Nevia. Spots of light and shadow dance along the walls of the canyon. High above your head, a swarm gathers, dark as rain cloud. There are so many vesicles that they block out the sun. Luckily, you've escaped the attention of the swarm. Just focus upon the troops you're using as bait, for now at least. With a tired gesture, Anivia wipes the sweat and dust from her forehead. There's anxiety in her eyes. Commander, the best we've come for is on the uh, the beast we've come for is on the other side of the main corridor. There's a lot of burrows and plenty of beasts in them, but you better not delve too deep. Our people won't hold for too long, uh, too long enough for us to clear the whole area. And on the other hand, I saw the bodies of some poor caravanners down the side holes. They may have some valuable stuff on them. The bugs will eat anything we don't grab. I can't tell the difference between flesh and steel. Let's move! Good luck. I'm right behind you. Capping your back. Capture up when it's time to deal with the Queen. I'm there. This is where having ever effect spells would be good. And Tickles is confused. Fantastic. Oh, it's probably I don't know. It's the goods. It's a soldier. I do what I must. 
Oh, Veska the Royal Guard. Look at these hideous things. The little spines on their back. Horrible grabby claws. Ugh. This is the confusion, I think the confusion. Yeah, only lasts like a few rounds. Yeah, not too bad. Right. Oh, she got tripped. Okay. Uh, oh, I think that's actually the main path. We don't want to go down the main path. We need to find some loot. Stand down. I don't tolerate threat. Each minute the commander spends searching for the loot, the bait... Oh, what does it say? The bait loses something? Can you pretty please check your... Discord communicate. I'll check it after stream, Slim, okay? Oh. Oh dear. This <laughs> is there's a dead man up there. Okay. Man died clutching a small chest to his body. He protected his belongings from the Vescovores. Good man. What do we get? A shirt. A silky veil. Ooh. Uh, this area is kind of timed, yeah. There are a few areas that are timed. Um, this robe grants us where plus one dodge bonus to armor class, plus two enhancement bonus to attack and damage rolls with unarmed attacks. Oh, only a monk can wear it. That's getting sold. And you are getting no healed. Yes. Yes. Oh, all our animals are hurt as well. Let's pump out the heals. Uh, not with the paladin. What do you mean? Not with the paladin. I'm not. This isn't. No, paladin is not using her her healing. I'm using the cleric. Adventures are exciting. Because lay on hands is better, in my opinion. No more loot to be had here. Okay. Come at me! I dare you. Huh. I'm wondering if this. is like a trigger in game let me just report this because i think that's a like an area trigger for And you know how many lift levels you get before your path is unlocked. So you get you get two ranks, and then when you get your third one, that's when you have to choose the path. And that third one happens when you take Dresden. Uh, it could be. Oh my. God. I might actually have to use the paladin to... This is where having an alchemist with bombs would be useful. Uh, and people not being confused would also be useful. Ah, God, the lag I'm suffering is ridiculous right now. What is going on, game? Why tonight? Pop that again. I I know. I know she's confused. It's annoying. How are the animal companion is doing? Actually we don't need to do that with the old paladin. 
You need to focus down the swarms, really. And animal companions are attacking us. I've got the boys. Uh, yeah, so you see, you see this, the green blobs and the color line lines. I think that's, I think that's what's, um, also my, uh, yeah, my frames are dropping quite drastically. Uh, right, so where's the loot? The loot is over here. Ah. Goods. So let's continue exploring this way for loot and experience and mobs to kill. Lives of soldiers versus the valuables left by a wayward caravan. Perhaps it is worth a trade. Yeah, I reckon it's worth it. Oh, there's. <laughs> um. Oh dear. That's two more dead soldiers. Oh. Cookies down. Hope the loot is worth it. Oh. A ring of stitches. Judging by the marks of the nails left in the soft sand, this man was still alive as the swarm began to eat him. Lovely. Yeah, we're getting hurt. Ring of stitches. The ring grants his wearer immunity to bleed. Cool. Give that to the paladin, why not? We're really hurt now though. How are the animal companions doing? Okay, Ember, time to burn through some more Cure Lights. The problem with swarms is they just do damage. They don't have to attack, they just have to, they just do damage. Uh, nasty. Whereas if I had someone who could sling bombs or fireballs, um, they'd be gone pretty quick because they take extra damage from area of effect spells. Oh. Troops are finding it harder and harder to fight. Oh dear. Am I, have I got a debuff called that? No. Huh. I wouldn't have called that, that's for certain. Oh, oh Triceratops is down, down. You say poor people, but I mean, there's loot. Look, we got a... A plus two keen short spear and some scrolls. Yay! The slime in the wall of the canyon emits a sweet smell with a sharp hint of freshness. Like the air before a storm. The insects are swarming all over part of this wall. Mm. So there's a very cool evil option. Uh, which I won't spoil. But evil gets a very cool possibility from this area. Uh, which I did use in my evil playthrough. Uh, okay, get involved. Oh shit, Paladin, you're hurt. Pop a lay on hands on yourself. And again. And another one bites the dust. I get in there. Just loop around this way. Check out this path. 
<laughs> Only a few fighters are left of the squad assigned to distract the Vescovors. Oh dear. Insanity? What? How did someone get that? Who? Was it an animal companion somehow got it? No, nobody's got it. What are you on about? You on about Willis? Hmm. Bizarre. I'm not evil, I'm chaotic neutral. Uh, ooh, we got a naturalist armor. Ooh. What's that do? Plus two studded leather armor grants us wear a plus two inside bonus to armor class against the attacks of plants and vermin. Yay. <laughs> so that gives five, this gives five, max dex. I mean, doesn't change your armor class. God, the battle axes look so crap. They're so small. Really quick save this. Right, next is which way? Right, have we been this way? Yes, so it's this way. Oh. The bottom of the canyon is split by narrow crevices. About one stride across at its widest. It's easy enough to jump over and in its place even step across. The obstacle doesn't seem a problem or even particularly notable, but as you draw closer, you hear a terrible droning sound coming from the crevice. It seems to be howling as if it's alive. Do a perception. Ooh. You stare into the darkness of the void, trying to make out where the sound is coming from. Not all at once, but your eyes pick out the contours of a body in the darkness. Someone small, perhaps a gnome, a halfling or a child, rolled up in a ball at the bottom of the chasm, under a stone ledge. He's crouched down, his head to his knees, and he's hugging his legs tightly. It appears to be one of the caravanners, caught by the swarm. He's crying aloud, one continuous tone, and it strengthens as it echoes through the crevice, building to something truly haunting. Yeah, let's try and get him out. Hey! Not without effort, you manage to clamber down to the bottom of the crevice. <clears throat> Tie the halfling with a rope and pull him up. He doesn't resist, but he's little help either, dangling helplessly like a puppet. The vesicle is inhabiting his eye sockets. Seem to have eaten their fill, and you easily pull them out and crush them. Oof. Uh, their victim sits on the ground and continues to cry, and the sound begins attracting the unwanted attention. <clears throat> you hear the humming of disturbed vesicles above. A mass of them separates from the main swarm of flood torture. God damn it, this is what you this is what you get for doing something good. Oh, it's just one swarm, okay. Got me worried then that there's gonna be like a mass of them. Oh. Okay. The halfling you pulled from the crevice doesn't move at all as you fought the onslaughts of Escalus. He's still lying on the on the floor crying. I could finish your mouth. I'm not evil. We will do a good action and heal the poor lad. I'll heal you and come back for you later. Magic can heal the caravaner's wounds, but not his mind. For now, there's nothing more you can do for him. He seems scarcely aware of your help. And his crying and shrieking continues. Oh god. A moment later, you hear another scream from overhead. Leaning precariously over the ledge of the crevice above, one of your young men falls to the bottom and dies upon the rocks. The other soldiers, now serving as bait, are up there desperately fighting for their lives, and yours. So he cost the he cost the life of some soldiers as well. Ooh. Oh dear, we're losing lots of soldiers. Maybe I shouldn't be going for all the loot. Maybe 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 I shouldn't have gone for all the loot. Uh, let's do this. Saving throws. You and you. Okay. 
Okay, we're out of healing spells. Oh, no, we're not. We've got some light spells here. Yeah, but, th but there is loot. That's... Yeah. It's a very good point. Okay, we should probably shapeshift. Um into maybe an earth elemental or a leopard i think earth elemental oh shit we don't have true spell ah that's fine um let's do that as well and then you can pop a stunning barrier am i still big i am um... Not big anymore. Okay. So make me big again. And then oh, I've got two strikes still. Ah, and I have a cure moderates on hand. Okay, we're not completely out of stuff. That's good. Come on, cast a spell. There we go. This, ooh, it's the queen. Uh, a huge runic circle has been drawn on the rock, probably with blood. Should we do the queen in turn-based mode? Yeah, let's do the queen in turn-based mode. Uh, let's have Windowalg buff and buff. Let's have you... Oh, wow, you're nearly out of everything. Start with... A less to saves, I think. And you are fine. Goes a long way. Uh, yeah. Make a fine trophy. Uh, did he pass its will save? Let's have a look. Uh, saved against the evil eye. That's annoying. So, what do we know about the Queen? She's a level 18 chaotic evil. Uh, she's currently flat-footed. She has power attack. Fast healing 5. Wait. Well, she failed the saving throw. Saving throw succeeded. But for some reason she's got evil eye on her for 99 hours. I'll, I'll take it. Let's see, she has a bite. And a claw, plus 19 to hit for 22 to 32 damage. And a claw, plus 18, add another claw for plus 18 for 20. Wow, she does big damage. Oof. Okay, um. Eesh. What's her armor class? Uh, we should probably look at that. Let's have a look. Um, she's huge. Okay, so she's only got 26. Touch is 13, though. Not that it really helps. Okay, Sundering Armor. Uh, let's see if we can actually get the chat one to work for us in combat this time. I will not be food for the abyss. Oh, come on. Almost there, Jesus. This is the one bug that's annoying me the most with this particular beta build, is the chat log is bust. It doesn't auto-scroll. Um, oh, oh, just got to move. Uh, what's this? It's a slam attack. Can we charge as an earth elemental? Yes, we can. Hey, good, and you did some damage. Alright, Paladin. Uh, this is definitely a smart evil worthy target, I think. And, oh, we can't charge you. That's a shame. So, I'm going to move to there. The reason for that is because if she decides to attack Sela, she'll only get one attack. Whereas if I move her right up to her, she'll get a full round of attack on her. Flat-footed... Pew pew. Luffy. Try and trip her. Oh, cool. Failed the saving throw, so they're both confused. That's 
That's wonderful. Uh, cleric. Uh, do you have anything good that she can use? Bane? Not that range, so... Oh, animal? No. Damn, didn't think that would work. Bone Shaker. Spell resistance. Of oh, fucking course. Uh, I will rage. And I will use Instrument of Freedom because she is currently flat footed, which means if I hit, I'll get sneak attack damage. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Picture for her. That's the druid dead. Fuck is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What did she do to her? She did. 30, 52, 72 damage. Nice. Just dead, dead. Okay. Yeah, by using crappy animal summons. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can sleep her. Damn, she made the save. What did she roll? Got a f oh, Jesus, yeah, fair enough. Uh, is she still under the effect of Evil Eye? No, okay. Did wonder. All right, Sila, you've got Smart Evil against her, so you've actually got... We're not gonna charge. Oh. What the hell? How did the Paladin save the will saving throw? DC 24. Oh, fuck. This is bullshit. <laughs> Might just have to hope Wendell out can solo it. Yep, of course. Uh. Guess we'll just go pew pew. Not hit, of course. Do I get him up? What's his will save like? Nine. I'd need to roll a 15 not to become confused. So I guess we'll use Instrument of Freedom again. And miss. Uh oh. Yep, cool. I'm confused as well now. Oh, here's Anivia. Oh, she's coming to help us. Good girl. Don't die. Um, let's drop. Let's try and drop the saving throws again. God damn it, she succeeded. But then we will cackle. Which should mean that Evil Eye will still last for longer. I will not become food. I shall survive! Okay, can we please... Oh, fuck's sake. What did you roll to that, miss? You rolled a four. You need to roll... a ten or more? Oof. Maybe we should turn off power attack. Wonder how... You're the only one who's damaged it so far. Continue to be the MVP. Uh, cleric. Bane. Maybe if she, it fails. Of course. Spell resistance. Oh, I don't want to hit my own people because I have the wide sweep scythe. Oh, Paladin's dead. This might be a reload. <laughs> Uh, let's lower armor class and then cackle. Uh, try and bane again. Spell resistance again. Oh, thank God, the mirror image. Oh, 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, then we do minus two attack rolls. And we cackle. Which should mean. So she's now got attack rolls, armor class, and saving throws down. And as long as we cackle, we can keep that up. Doesn't really matter because. I think I might consider summons. I mean, Wenderag will kill it. She just will. It's the way it always goes, but I think we will reload. If Anivia kill steals, we'll have to definitely reload. Okay. Alright, Ember. I don't think you've got anything you can really. Pew pew it! Yeah, of course so. And then watch, when do I kill it? Oh. Oh, she didn't kill it. Oh. Well, resistance. There's literally there's two dead. Not just fallen. Yeah, this is not going well. Oh, Ember's confused and shot someone else. Got rid of another thing. Uh Smo snowball! Oh, you actually did damage to him, holy shit. Ember's dead. Cleric is dead. <laughs> oh dear. No See, we're gonna load it anyway, cause oh my god. Turn back to human form. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. We don't have any left. Oh, we're not allowed to rest here. She hasn't got any spells left. But we should have some scrolls we might be able to use. Uh, that's fairy fire. Damn it. We burnt through a lot of stuff, stupidly. Uh... We've already got that. Uh, okay. So we've got some protection from chaos, protection from evils. Reduces roof paralysis, roof sickness. Shield of fates. Feather step, uh, enlarge person. You're already big. Let's make make window out big as well, and then give her cat's grace to offset it, and then her bow will do more damage. So she's currently at plus nine. It will go down to a plus eight, I believe. Oh shit, plus seven. And then this will make it a plus nine again, uh, plus eight. But her bow does more damage now because she's big. Uh, Bear's Endurance, let's give that to you, you, Potion of Boxing won't help us, that's Acid, so we just need to chug some potions to get our health up, we're going to have to do it turn based because otherwise that thing is just going to rip us to pieces. Funnily enough, there is a um, bard archetype that's in the game now, which would be fantastic. 
Oh, we'll also drink a potion of blur on our paladin and MC. Use that. Use that. Um, Ember as well. Um, it's called... Oh, like something of clarity or something like that. Basically, actually, is it the bard? Which has it? Their song basically gets rid of all like mind affecting effects, like confusion you know, and stuff like that. It would be perfect for this situation, basically. Oh, there's more stuff here. Displacement. Ah. Spellbook. Heroism. Scrollbook. Oh, I forgot we've got freaking wands we should be using. Uh, Wand of Invisibility. I think she just used it on herself. Yes. Wand of Reduced Person. Wand of Grease won't help. Remove Disease. Wand of Haste. Okay, we'll quick save now with those added buffs. And then charge in to here. You will burn through this to summon. Where's the tons of crappy? So 1d3 giant frogs. 1d4 plus 1 mites. Come on. It's fucking to here. And because she's flat footed, Windowelg, just shoot her because Oh you missed. Oh, but you hit twice then. Good. So that's her surprise round action. Uh Bane's not close enough. But something was. What was it we could have tried? Oh, it was Bone Shaker. She just can't overcome the spell resistance. Three day limit in chapter one before the attack on the tavern. Oh, right, yeah, you have three days before they attack the tavern, but then you can still do. Ah, okay, you got three full days, okay. Paladin will declare Smart Evil, but she's not going to get closer. We are... Oh, she's still flat-footed because she hasn't acted yet. This is a surprise round. We're going to rage, and then we will... I think that has increased our strength even more, right? Does our rage no longer give us strength? Plus two bonus. Oh, melee rolls, melee damage rolls. Throwing weapon. And will saving throws. Minus two. So what, plus 13 to hit? pretty safe but whilst we can still sneak attack at range we will because touch attack all right animal companion number one Sundarama oh, okay you were confused uh, like in the event with the storyteller if you come to the library before the attack he's not on fire and you get the company three wizards ah also if you get to the other side of the ravine in the centre of town you'll find some um, thieflings and then you can get their help in the dungeon as well and by their help they just disarm traps that's all they do let's summon no actions left this turn oh it's a full round action to do that isn't it so stand still Uh, evil eye, are you in range? I don't think you are. Maybe? Oh, you can. Fantastic. Please fail. It succeeded. That's annoying. Alright, I guess we'll try a trip. Hey, it got confused as well. Of course it did. Uh, Wendelwalg. Oh, have you still got those buffs up? Shit, we miss out on... Missed out on fucking aspect of the Falcon. God damn it. 
Means you have three attacks at plus nine, yeah. Um, whoops. Here comes an Evia. Hey, good damage. Right, let's get you... Because I really want Bane to actually hit it. Man, what do we need? Spell resistance 25. She needs to literally roll a nat 20. Fuck. Again, Palin's going to hold back. Oh, Cleric's in trouble. Um, I think we can still sneak attack with this. And it's 66, which we can sneak attack with. So that's potentially a good amount of damage. Also means I don't have to get close enough to have to make the save. Also, if I'm next to her, she can get full round attack on me. Okay. You're attacking and missing. Okay, what are the mites gonna do? Get confused. <laughs> and hurt itself. All right. Let's summon a nature's ally right on top of it. Another mite for the slaughter. All right, Ember, is it in range of your cackle? Yes. Is it still under evil eye? No. So we need to do evil eye saves first. It failed its saving throw. Fantastic. And the reason I do Cackle is because Cackle makes all of the hexes last for one additional round. And then you can Cackle and Cackle and Cackle and Cackle as a move action. So I can keep the minus two to saving throws on her. Then I can try the attack rolls. Then I'll try the armor class. And then I'll try Slumber. Sid Wizards join you in the attack on the garrison. Give you... One and a half hour haste buff and open all those magic doors. That's how you get through there. Okay. I'm going to have to do that. Next time. Damn. Okay. Right, Windwilg. Uh, are you under the effect of Gravity Bow? You're not. 2d6 plus 10. Comes. 3d6 plus 10. Uh, let's move you further back just in case she gets closer. We'll have this. She's on half health and she hasn't got close enough to any of our melee types yet. Cleric's getting chipped away at though. We're fine. We're fine. Ooh dear. Okay, so she's just down. She's not dead. That's good. We'll try another sneak attack freedom. Uh, sneak attack instrument of freedom. Solid damage being dealt from that ability. This does feel dirty. Cheesing it with crappy summons. Say, oh, they're all good. Fortitude, though. Uh, let's do size bonus. Uh, the small elementals are terrible. Now nah, we've got this. It's time for the druid to just stand where she is. Uh, Ember is now going to give it minus two to attack rolls. And cackle to keep that going. And our companion's still confused. Yep. Uh, 
the handicap is it just takes longer to do the fight. This is where Window Album is just going to explode it. Watch this. Oh. Oh. Hey! Quick, we're here for 71 damage. <laughs> Good old Windwag with her stupid big bow. Ugh. Unleashing her last shriek, the Swarm Queen slumps to the ground. Immediately, as if by magic, the distant sounds of battle begin to subside. Several small beasts sit on their mother's body, sinking their mandibles into it. The canyon drowns in the waves of the scent. A sweet sporific with a hint of bite, like the crackle in the air before a storm. Looking at the slain monster, for a brief moment you feel an in inexplicable sensation of... Not, not sympathy, no. The rescue of a queen is disgusting. But a strange kinship. What is it like to be part of a swarm? Hostile to all life, hating everyone and hated by everyone. You take a deep breath and the sensation passes. You like turn base, just makes the game more interesting, playable. Sometimes it's easier real time battles with with haste cheese. Yeah, I find real time makes boss battles easier. But then I do know the rules really well. Um, but it takes longer. Ugh, ugh, I can't breathe. I need some fresh air. Get me out of this disgusting hole. Neva approaches the, the Swarm Queen's body. Her face clearly expresses a desire to kick the dead beast, but she refrains. Just a brainless bug. So many of our people died because of her. Just yesterday I was sitting by the fire with some of the people the swarm devoured. Suddenly Neva stops. Her nostrils flare and her eyes scan the floor and the walls of the canyon. She squats and pokes at some lumps of slimy substance. Lifts them up to look more closely, smells them and cringes. Uh, Nevia, is something worrying you? Aha! She has a small green of, small ball of greenish slime in her hand. I bet my life that your gear had this nasty stench when we were entering the canyon. Saw the queen bug spraying it around to summon her spawn to her. Let's see if we can find the source of that smell among our equipment. You and Nevia search through your things and quickly find the source of the smell. A thin handkerchief. Looks like it's been soaked in something like the swarm queen's slime. Uh, you can always pause, but yes, uh, real time are usually over before you cast a lot of spells. We lose perfumed handkerchief. I'll be damned. When the queen was spraying this sweet smelling goop around, the swarm flew to it like flies to jam. The chewed up bodies of the caravan has smelled like this too. I checked. Commander, I think some rat planted the handkerchief on you to ensure that the vesicles would find you. Looks like I have enemies in Mendev. Someone has decided to get rid of me. True. Nobody likes upstarts. Welcome to the stream, Mr. Get Good Car. How are you doing this evening? How come your stream's over at 10 to 10? I thought you were going... Did you start early today? And what were you streaming? And... For those of you here who don't know who Get Good Gar, you should definitely go check him out. He's trying to get me. No! No, my hubris! Ah. You got tilted by Apex. Fair enough. You need to de-stress. Um, we're in a canyon full of um, buzzing bugs. Swarms of tiny little critters with little pincery mouths. <laughs> What is a face roll OP build for this beta? Um, I don't know. I don't look up builds. I just go with what I want to do. Um, I don't know, to be honest to that one. ACM. Certain Nick Cage. Not the bees! Uh, for a beginner, a good solid class paladin. 
Paladin's always a solid class, especially in this campaign. Anyway, we need to keep our eyes open. That handkerchief could have been planted here by magic. I take it from personal paranoiac. I think we've got a rat in our camp. In Canabras, we squashed the cultists time and time again, but they were like maggots in a dead, dead hog. Some could have infiltrated our forces too. We have to keep our eyes open. And our guard up. True Sword Saint is a, fan, is a good one, especially if you uh, end up taking Duelist later on. It's quite a cool combo. It's time we got back to our people. I say we destroy the Queen's body. I heard that little bugs who eat the flesh of their mother can be reborn as Swarm Queens themselves. That's kind of the last thing we need, right? So, you can see here, there's an evil option. Which is, burn the body, but gather as much of the Queen's slime as you can. Keep it a secret from the troops. In Dresden, we'll send a suicide unit, wait for the demons to gather their forces, and then bring in the Vescovals. We'll return this gift to those who destroy us with it. Ace Braggington. He is adventurer extraordinaire. Beloved of the accidental god Caden himself. It is an evil pick. And when you use it in Dresden, two soldiers walk up with this giant basket. They open the basket, Vescovals come, eat them, and then the Vescoval swarms start to uh, kill some of the demons. My lich did it because it just made practical sense. Um, but yeah, we're, but we're leading towards the good side. Finding Eva, get rid of this beast's body. Great. Cleaning up after a fight is just what I like. We'll start here. And little by little, we'll clean up the entire world wound. Yes, your demoness would do it. Any evil or lawful neutral or chaotic... E chaotic neutral, maybe? And Eva, Commander, what a relief, you're alive. I saw the swarm begin to thin and ran to you immediately. There are many dead and wounded. To be honest, I fear the whole army is about to scatter. We've been in the whirlwind for such a short time and already we've run into so much trouble. But what matters is that it's over. <sighs> but this evil makes a lot of sense. Ah, hmm. Hey Nazgu, how are you doing buddy? Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're going to go with the chaotic option here. We've gone through a challenge and we've gained our reward, even if we had some losses. But in the end, what sense is this life without risks? Oh dear, what are we going to do now? Since you're here, please look around. I found some painted runes and traces of something that seemed like a ritual. We need to figure out what this is. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Thank you, buddy. Yes, I will show you my alignment. As soon as we can. Ha! Easily done. She needs only the magic symbol painted on the stone. I'm no mage, unfortunately, but I'm in the habit of thoroughly documenting all descriptions of rituals and symbols for magic books. Especially demonic ones. Someone very recently opened a portal to the abyss here, and summoned someone. It's not difficult to figure out who they summoned. It's laying dead right there. I can guess who carried out the ritual. Handwriting is unique, even when it comes to runes. I examined the Grey Garrison after his success, documenting everything I found for Queen Galfrey. I'm sure that this hand drew the same rune circles we found in, same, in both instances. It's the work of the same spellcaster. Clever, to set a trap to exhaust us instead of fighting us openly. No, Nur is not a companion. She's kind of like a, an advisory NPC. So you lose at least one companion on each mythic path. I didn't lose any companions going Lich. I still, I still had, um... I still had the Paladin in my party when I was playing as the Lich. 
Seriously, attack during a dialogue and a party member says, no, don't do it. Or stop and attacks you. Oh. Ah, Lindsay. R.I.P. -E Rest in pages. We shouldn't be afraid of demons. We lived through this little trap, didn't we? We'll, we'll overcome the next one, too. We just need to figure out... We just need to keep forging ahead. Well, since we finished off the swarm and we know someone is giving us trouble, I suggest we get out of here. I'm done with bugs. You're using her in your current run. She's a skull core poet now. Too useful. Fair enough. Alright, there's some loot we had over there. Yeah, squinchy, crunchy noises. We can also go down. Uh, so there's a composite short bow called Hunter's Assurance. Plus three bleed composite short bow. When it confirms a critical hit, the enemy suffers a stacking minus one penalty to armor class until the end of combat. On a 20 stacking criticals, ah, they'll be dead. <laughs> Report the bugs. That is a good idea. I found an area full of them. Hey, we can camp now. We'll camp, we'll rest, and then we'll go down. Because we're really hurt. And out of spells. Two, four, six people. Rest, recommended time, yes. Now, it's a cool area. Fortress is ours. A huge fortress, big as a city. Now the people of Galarian will bow down before us. Uh, you do remember who we're fighting against, right? No comment, boss page. No comment. Yes. Our Triceratops is back alive and we're going to squeeze it into this tiny little hole. <laughs> Wendu's fantastic. And if I had a hot button which I could use to time people out, anyone who says otherwise we get timed out. Uh, I know, I do the same thing, Derzak. I can't stop taking them. They're fantastic. They're just... They're such good mythic things. I mean, the cool thing is, with this person, we've taken the, um... Abundant Casting. Now, she's going to take Mystic Thurge. The Abundant Spell Casting works on both classes she has. Which is disgusting. Like, her spell repertoire is going to be humongous. She's going to be the one party member buffing machine. He's still furious at the Dryad killing Lizzie uh, to the degree that even your third playthrough, you are not able to do anything else but kill her. Even if you wanted a different ending. Ah. It's on this card for spontaneous casters. Uh, no, it's good for spontaneous. They get additional casts per day. It's just as useful for them. <laughs> you hit on something. No reason needs to die, apparently. Uh, let's see, a line weapon. Good on the paladin. Apologies, people. The buffing takes a while. Um, yeah, mage armor on yourself. That. Man, that on him, I guess. Uh, we are buffed, so then we drink our potion. Wonderog. Acid more. Pop that. Pop that. Cats grace yourself. You need to mage on yourself and then the animals. We have a Triceratops, a Sabertooth Tiger and a Raptor. Because best animals. Uh, you're done and then, oh god, all the fucking bark skins we've got to do. Uh, 
Mm. Belt circles of stats are much more rare in Wrath. True, they also become slightly less useful because when you can have a 24 hour long bull strength, a plus 4 belt strength is kind of pointless. And with abundant casting as well. Uh, acid. Fire. Greater magic fangs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's just another tiefling. I just used the um, portrait from uh, from the king because you can now use the king maker portraits. They've just been added to the game as um, portraits for your NPCs and such. Is nice. Oh shit! We're still in turn base. We don't need to be in turn base for swarms. See. Um, if you are going the Lich Path, you have to come down here. It, it, I mean, well, I don't think you have to, but it is very important that you do. Uh, did they cancel Swarm Rules? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, very cool. Thank you, Cecilia. Uh, do you mind actually, if if you are able to, if you if you have Discord, could you throw that into Discord for me? That'd be really useful for me. Ah, so Vestigal, Vestigal, Vestigals, Vestigals. They are not diminutive, so they can be damaged with with weapons. They take like half damage. So, with swarms, it depends on the size of the creatures inside the swarm, whether or not they can be damaged with weapons or not. If they are fine or diminutive, um, then they can't be hurt by weapon damage. If they are tiny, they can. You can also have a swarm of small creatures, I think. Like a rat swarm, you can, you can kill by smashing them with hammers. White. Why? Why did this happen to me? My soul is rotting. It is riddled with worms and bugs. Ken writes. I managed to send an undead to sleep, of course. That's something you can do. What's that there? Goodies and. Ooh, a belt of dex plus four. Um, let's give that to our MC to offset being big. Jesus. 32 armor class and huge. Thank you. You just have to be P uh, PSD. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you know what the worst swarms were? Were those man man Mandragor swarms in the House at the Edge of Time? Fuck those things. <laughs> Garkle. Ooh, we have a named undead. Uh, let's focus down the can right first. There we go. Double critical. Nice. Oh, he's down. Ooh, and a helmet. Helmet of Socoria. Uh, what? Oh, the Wand of Zacharias. So these guys will just keep getting back up. I don't think you can farm XP off them either. Because if you notice, technically hasn't actually died, even though the body's been exploded. Watch what will happen. Any moment now. They get back up. 
It's an unending wave of undead unless you pick up the wand. <laughs> I think this is the Lich music. So in Kingmaker there is one thing that will spawn infinite enemies that do give XP, specifically around 20 Jesus. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, as soon as your fingers touch the wand, a surge of energy courses through your body. A howling choir of restless souls deafens your very thoughts. Green light pours from your eyes. It can rend soul from body if you so much as will it. The wand vibrates in your hand like it's alive. No, it is certainly not. As you realise this, as you realise with amazing clarity. But there's definitely something inside and it's studying you closely. Second time you fail the curse, it spawns a boss demon and he can be summoned infinitely. Oh wow. Uh, I'm going to reach out my mind and touch the power that's hiding within the wand, because what could go wrong? Your hand clenches the wand harder and harder, like it's closing around the throat of an enemy. Suddenly, the darkness lurking within the wand emerges and seizes your hand. It crawl crawls through your eyes and deep into your mind. A spark flares in the darkness. It's a firefly, held gently in the hands of a young mage. Its light barely diminishes the gloom, but it's enough to see the stone walls of a dungeon. There are several others, young and battered wizard crusaders holding magic wands, all showing signs of recent battle. You hear a rumble from above, followed by a furious demon shriek. The mages rise, preparing for another fight. Uh, yes, Kingmaker used the same portraits. Uh, I previously used the... Like on the Nexus mods, you can get a whole host of um, portraits. And they work exactly the same. So it will, it will work exactly the same as Kingmaker. Confirmed. A spark flares in the darkness. Oh, I've read that bit. A tall figure rises before them. Master Zacharias, you're alive! The mage towering over his apprentice is pale, and his clothes are covered in blood. His voice is dull and dispassionate. The newfound sanctuary has fallen. You have fulfilled your duty. Now leave. This is my battle, not yours. Teldon? The apprentice, baffled, turns around to the young man holding the firefly. Today I die and leave, my friends. Take my wand and deliver it to Canavaris. In the hour of greatest need, let a worthy crusader return it to me. I will know that my brothers need me, and I will rise to their aid. Even death will not stand in my way. So. We're going to have a set... We can break the ominous item, which will cut off the lich path to us. I think evil I think evil or hide the wand in your bag keeps the lich path open. However, we lean towards good. So we will break the ominous item. A biting pain runs through your fingers. The wand clatters to the stone floor, breaking in two. The sound seems grim and menacing, like the tolling of a funerary bell. Whatever was hiding in the wand did not appreciate such disrespectful thoughts. The green light fades as quickly as it arose. The choir of dead quiet their house. The power slips away, even as every part of your body protests against it. You vividly realise how fragile and fickle mortal flesh is. Alright, we can hurt undead, right? Let's do that. Not that we really need it. Actually... Alright, let's speed this up, shall we? And this time they'll stay there. And you can tell that because there's bodies you can loot. And finally, so... One of the companions I'll probably hire when I do my next playthrough or maybe my next character will be an elven will be an elven ranger um 
with really high decks taking the weapon fighting style of two-handed weapon so that I can use uh, all the dex feats around using an elven curve blade. And this elven curve blade isn't too bad. It's a vermin, b vermin bane elven curve blade. So against vermin it's a plus four which does an additional 2d6. But the nice thing about the elven curve blade is it's a two-handed weapon that is a 1d10 weapon damage thing. That is a weapon finesse wielding weapon. You can use weapon finesse to wield this two-handed weapon. It's nice. I prefer it over the S-Stock. A massive claw. Judging by its size and colour, once belonged to a silver dragon. We've now got a piece of Terendalev's claw. Charcoal, soot, the remains of a greasy looking liquid. Possibly traces of burnt oil. Mm. Check that out. Uh, what's this? We've got a recipe. Some more stuff. Some more goods. Loot taken by thieves from the Tower of Estrod. Estrod, sorry. Ah! Any more loot around here we can find? No? Okay, just that little piece over there, right? Yeah. Goods. Scroll some lockpicks. Cool. So this is a very important area to come if you want to be if you want to do the lich path. Um it depends on the setting. Really? It depends on what you want to run. If you mean this game in particular, I think there's only one. Uh not con not counting yourself if you become a lich. I'm gonna kill some more demons down here. Oh, what's this? Ooh, another a longsword, a plus two longsword. Uh, do we want to change? Do we want to give you momentum? You only do like fucking d4 damage with that though. Plus two versus a plus one, but on a crit. It's also cold iron. This is not cold iron. Fine for now. All of Galarian. Um, there are several, um, like, <sighs> there's there's one lich that rules a kingdom. Uh, there's also another kingdom that uh, is full of undead. Uh, I think it's, it's Geb. I won't give up. That's either. I can't remember whether Geb is like necromancers and undead or whether it's vampires and undead. It's one or the other. And then there's Ustalav. Oh, Ustalav is the vampires, Geb is like undead and demons and such. Oh, we've got a negative level. Yeah, get that. Um. That sucks. Fucking swarms. Has anyone else got a negative level? No, just the dirt. Oops. Oh. A Durakini, not a Dratini. It's the ugly cousin of a Dratini. Uh, level 11. I'm there. I reckon we can take it. Animal now companions I will get to it first. Take up its attention. Oh, it got slumbered. So yes, it's going to die very quickly. Ooh. Okay, it's got a lot of hit points. Can't seem to hit the shit though. Oh, they're still confused. How long are they confused for? 
but they're not. Wait, they are confused still, right? Okay, I guess not. I'll give away buff notes. Uh, let's go down here. Let's explore these horrible, goopy caves. Ooh, there's a vest more royal guard, more swarms. Fantastic. Just what I wanted. Uh, you've got somewhere. Let's get Amber up to try and deal with these swarms. Oh, Druid's dead. God damn it. This Druid is not turning out to be very useful. yourself and lay on hands yourself oh fuck kill the swarms and uh do another flaming hands oh my god these like nastier swarms or something no oh it's the, it's the paladin attacking my mc no heal chug a potion yeah, I, yeah. Alright, we'll carry on without the druid, I guess. Still got the animal companion. Who are really hurt. It's the swarms. You can make my character instead of a druid. Sage Sorcerer 10. Uh, is that. What's EK? Oh, Eldritch Knight? Sadly, it costs money to make these things. Uh, getting. Um, Getting people is not free. Oh, athletics to get over here, huh? Oh, Fluffy's dead. Oh, 30 minutes passed. Buffs are gone. Uh, another 30 minutes has passed. Fuck me, how, what's the DC? 22, and you're at a 12, and you failed twice. Have I pleased you? Uh. Nope. <laughs> That's a rest. Uh, yes, there is. Uh, I'll show it to you now. So, resting outside of your um, war camp or outside of Dresden, uh, you will start to uh, accrue abyssal corruption. So, at the moment, I'm under the first tier. After, at each tier, you get stacking penalties and debuffs to your uh, all characters. And it's nasty. Ooh, DC 22 to do that, okay. Now, camouflage is going to be you. And then Nightwatch. Me. And then Ember. Uh, actually, can we cook a recipe? We don't have, oh yeah, we don't have the, um, fucking purifying solution. Alright, well, we don't have any tainted fowl. We don't have nearly enough at all, okay? Fine, then Ember is doing this. Come on. Move, thank you. Ah, I forgot to put in unshakable heart, or unbreakable heart, whatever it's called. Oopsie daisy. Uh, 
Less buffs. Okay. Oh. I wonder if you can skip that with enter. Cool. No chance for an ambush. Fantastic. Right. So let's get this. I want to attack that big nasty spider thing. My skills are absolute. Okay. Big. Keep rage up. And then drink your strength. You've got those spells. This. And then that. Uh, this. And an acid more. Uh, we need a mage armor on you. A mage armor on the three animal companions. I love the spell effects. So beautiful. Um, that's all good. You've got a few spells. Uh, first, it's mage armor. And then let's make the let's make Wendor out big. And mirror image. A quick save. We will go to turn base because that thing was huge. Let's charge in. Oh, let's get to here first and then charge in. What is this thing? This big, horrible looking bug thing. A hunter retriever. Oh, it's a construct. It's a level 15 chaotic evil construct. With fast healing 5, power attack, 29 armor class, crap touch, rubbish fortitude saves, but a construct, so immune to sleep, paralyzed, frightened, stunned. It's got multiple legs, which means its CMD is going to be really good. Wow, oh, combat move defense of 40. It has four claw attacks, each one plus 17. Ooh, okay. It's a, it's a big boy. Uh, who is this? If this is... Uh, Tickles. I mean, fuck it. Try and sunder the armor? I doubt it'll work. Yeah, because his defense is... Oh, 35. Uh, so we need to roll a 24, which is impossible. So let's take that off. Let's try... A Bane. It's immune to Bane. God damn it. Of course it is. Of course it is. Oh, it has a breath attack as well? Evil rays. Wait, what? Uh, evil rays fire. Tree for eyes can control four different magical rays, each within a range of 100 feet. Each round, it can fire one ray as a free action. Particular ray is usable only once every four rounds. It can fire an eye ray in the same round that it makes physical attacks. Firing an eye ray does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Oh my god. Fires 12d6 fire damage. Cold 12d6, electricity 12d6. Petrification. Target will succeed a fortune save to turn to stone permanently. Oof. Okay. Ah, uh, that's that's nasty. Who oh dare? Um. We'll try a trip. Uh, because yeah, CMD is forty against trip. Never mind, and you add 20, oh, you add 14. Oof, uh, we are going to sense vitals and move you over here. And then Fluffy, you can't trip it, so just try and attack. Miss Ember. Um... Is it immune to being blinded? Uh, no. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it's not. So, first we will try and lower its saving throws. So it failed, it's failed that good. So saving throws are two less. Fantastic. Uh, we are just going to power attack attack it. We missed. Of course we did. What did we roll? Eight? Okay. That's one dead animal companion. Alright, so it's immune to that. So... Fear effects. Okay. Nope, that doesn't work. It's not a living creature. Uh, let's do... Protection from evil. We'll need you... Here. Bless, yeah. Oh. Well, that's a dead triceratops. Okay, so go. Oh dear. Okay, three attacks though with Smart Evil active. Two misses. God damn it. Alright, Wendelalg, you're going to be doing 3d6 plus 10 with each attack. You have plus, only plus 8 to attack. Oh, but you're getting sneak attack damage in as well, which is good. Okay, uh, Kitty Cat. Three attacks, but you're going to do nothing because you're not going to hit it. Yep. So you're just there because you're a body. We will now do Glitter Dust on it. Which, it failed its saving throw. Fantastic. Which means it's now blinded, which is very good. Now, yeah, 44 sneak attack. Because it's armor class. It's still 29, we just hit, we just crit, okay. Oh no, that wasn't even a crit, that was just a hit. Oh, fantastic. Uh, let's do bless. Oh, I should have moved the first. Never mind. Oof. Man, glitter dust. Uh, we should be getting sneak attacks. If you can hit. Wow. Very nice. Sealer did. Sealer killed it somehow, even though it was Wendog that. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Good work, everybody. What we'll loser it got? It's got a dagger. Retriever's claw. Plus two cold iron dagger has an increased critical multiplier of times three. Okay, I and mean, that's a pretty nice knife for a uh, knife fighter. I almost missed this. I guess this is a dead one. Okay, any more loot to be found in these like hidden nooks or crevices? Owl cat goodies? No. Okay. No, because it's a, it's a construct. It's not even something you can raise as, an, as undead. It's a non-living creature. But you could technically make one, I guess. I mean, not in this game, but... I guess there's nothing stopping you from making one. What's all along through here? Oh, ow. Shit, more fucking swarms. Excuse my language. It's as if I hate swarms. Right, Ember, can you... Fire. Well, that was a construct, yeah. It's got a hunter retriever. I think retriever is... The, I think the retriever is the type of... Construct. I think Hunter is like 
archetype thing. Or like the, the type of retriever is a hunter. What's, where are we? Oh, we're at, ooh, ooh, some rocks. Oh, it's the first time we've come across the rocks in this campaign. Uh, if you discount the um, city center of Canavaris. Oh, fucking shriek bullshit. Okay. No. I need you to lay on hands him. You guys just back up over here. Ember, what are you doing? Stop. You. Uh de Gras, this sleeping rock. Sealer, back up. Oh, oh, good. She didn't hit. Just hold back, guys. Jesus. That's better. 96 points of damage should that crit. Lovely. And as he stands up, attacks of opportunity. <laughs> Holy shit, that means it actually made the Fortitude saving throw against the damage? How is the DCI 25? The, the save against the Coup de Gras DC is supposed to be the damage dealt. Ah. Oh. Fair enough. I guess that's a change to the, uh, to the mechanics. Got a, a cookery we need to look at. A cookery we need to look at. So the cookery is. Game doesn't like me being big. Oh my goodness, game, come on. Oh, I got the blue swirly circle of doom. Come on, game. Don't you dare do this to me now. I didn't save after killing the thing. Come on. Damn it. Music's still going, but it's all grey now. God damn it. Um, let me try something. Ah, oh, nuts. Okay, guys, uh, I'll be right back. I just need to restart the game, it seems. I'm gonna have to do that fight again. I might just... Put it in fast mode. I can still hear the noise. Damn it! No, hitting space, all it does is bring up the whole... If you close the program, you might lose information. Close the program, or wait for the program to respond. Damn it. I will be right back. I'll put you on the Wrath Be Right Back screen.
Okay. I'm just booting up the save. Oh yeah. Hey, do ask. If you have any questions, uh, do ask. I, I'm i a seasoned DM of Pathfinder. Um, I've DM'd two entire adventure paths from pretty much start to finish. Uh, I did Kingmaker and I've done Skull and Shackles. Uh, I'm also a player in Mummy's Mask adventure path and I will soon be DMing my third adventure path, which will be Wrath of the Righteous. So, if you have any questions about the game, mechanics, classes, stuff like that, as long as it's not kineticist, because I have no fucking idea how they work and I to this day still haven't really learned, um, do ask. And um, always feel free to, um, you can tweet to me, you can jump in the Discord and ask me questions if I'm not streaming. Um, I need no excuses to talk about nerdy shit. Let's see if we can do this in real time. We probably can. Uh, maybe we should do that clear dust. I don't even remember if it's saved or not. Let's do another one just in case. Oh yeah, you're supposed to have done Smite Evil on it. There okay, guys, up to your armor class against it. Oh, it was clever. So as soon as she did Smite Evil and her armor class went up, it changed the tactic to my MC. Ah. Clever girl. Dagger again. And uh, we spotted the goods there. again. Fantastic. We've got Midnight Maw. What is that? Uh, amulet of Natural Armor plus one additionally grants the wearer a plus four morale bonus on saving throws against poison. Uh, I don't have anyone to give it to. An animal companion, maybe? Sure, the Velociraptor gets it. Yes. Uh, I don't know much about Warhammer lore. Uh, I used to collect both Tyranids and Wood Elves when I was in high school. Um, however, um, when I was running the gaming club in high school for Warhammer, uh, I came back one week and all my models were gone. Every single one of them. Um, I had a 3,000 point Wood Elf army and a 3,000 point Tyranid army, which back in those days was a shit ton of models. Um, sad times. And you won't stop us. then I went to college and discovered drink, drugs, partying. So my money went on that instead of models. Uh... Oh shit, we're confused. Uh, I'm gonna need to fire these things. Uh, Wendor Elg, you should be shooting this guy, not the swarm. Yeah, that was it was sad times. Uh, big time. Oh come on. MC, snap out of it. Please, snap out of it and don't kill a party member. Good. Okay, just the big boy left. Oh shit, my MC's poisoned. Uh, how have we. Oh, because the fucking druid is down, we don't have. The immunity to poison bullshit. My skills are absolute. Shit. Okay, well, we can we can lesser restoration him at least. Uh, 
Uh, can you set auto level up for companions after you start? Yes. If you if you have there are. I can't show you now because I, one I can't level up and two you can only show at first level. But for each class, there is a um, there is like a pre-built plan, which if you don't want to level if you don't want to choose how they level up, they'll auto level up in a pre-chosen kind of way. If you're playing on harder difficulties, I wouldn't suggest it because they're not super optimized. But if you're playing on lower difficulties, they are definitely they're definitely serviceable. And if you don't want to get into what is a very complex uh, leveling system, um, then yeah, you're playing the easier levels. Oh, thank you for the follow. Way too bad. Da -da -da. Thank you. I'm gonna do uh, now that someone sent me a follow. I'm gonna do my um, soulless corporate shill. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you get a free Prime sub every month. If you want to sub to me, you can get four emotes. That's right, four whole emotes. You can have your you can have your own adventuring party. Yeah, there you go, Stig. Stig's got it. <laughs> I'll do that once per stream, and it makes me feel dirty every time I do it. A trivial task. Uh, I mostly from streaming. I want people's company, uh, so I can talk nerdy stuff to people. What's this? I got nothing here. Going around the wrong way. Oh, this is the way to the rocks, I guess. Okay, we got all turned around. Your normal difficulty. Okay, uh, they could, they'll probably be usable. Um, you may find that you might want to drop the difficulty down at some point. All right, uh, we're down to one animal companion, huh? We've got some rocks coming up. Uh, I'm on something called book rules, and by that, I'll show you. So, it starts out as normal. But then I changed critical hits to normal instead of weak. Uh, auto level off, enemy stat adjustments, normal. Damage to party, one. Uh, enemy difficulty, normal. Number of enemies, standard. I might change that up to enlarged when we do our Lich playthrough, just for more XP. Uh, but basically, this is as close to as book rules as you can get. Um, yes. If you want... Okay, the thing I love about Pathfinder is is depth and complexity, because it's what I loved about 3.5 Dungeons & Dragons. Um, with 5th edition, I don't like it. Simple as that. It's I find it too... Too cookie cutter, too... Every rogue is the same. You know? Um, do I have any... Don't have any remove thingies or restorations, do I? Um, however, I can definitely understand how Pathfinder is intimidating to dive into. First edition Pathfinder, I should state. Second edition Pathfinder has the best of both worlds. It still has a decent amount of depth and complexity to it. However, um, it is simplified. Oh, fuck. These swarms are going to kill my MC, aren't they? Yep. Why is it not game over? Oh, it'll be game over as soon as combat's over with, I guess? Wait, what? How is it not game over if no, my MC's dead? Uh. Uh, that's definitely a bug. Why? 
MC died, he had already taken con damage. This is what I think has caused it. However, I got no game over. No, I think... I think it's because my character's gone to minus 12... Minus 12 hit points, and normally his constitution is 14. So I think my character hit that sweet spot of the negative hit points, his adjusted constitution needs to get to die, but not enough. Yeah, I think that's probably what it is. Magic the Gathering is also very intimidating to dive into, yes. Uh, Magic the Gathering is a fantastic game. It's another game uh, which I've spent way too much money on in the past. But, thoroughly enjoy it. Um, alright. I'm gonna pop this. I'm gonna shooty shooty the things with range. Oh, they're coming right for us. They're coming right for us. Let's take off that so we can get more attacks with wide sweep, maybe. Okay, come on. Focus down the mix to the swarm. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Chug a potion. Oh, we should be hasting all the time. Fuck. Look all the extra attacks. Oof. Okay, uh, these rocks might be a real challenge now. I'm taking way more stat damage. You think Pathfinder is your favourite system? Mine too. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's my favourite system. 3.5 was fantastic, but it just became... It became just as complex, but without some of the balance into it. For example, even though, not, even though it won't be the most powerful class, it's still viable to take 20 levels of, of pure Pathfinder. The capstone things and the like, the weapon training and armor training you get as you level up makes fighter a pure level twenty fighter still a viable class, not the most powerful, but a viable path to still be usable at twentieth level. In D and D three point five, it just wasn't like you would only ever take like say two or maybe three levels of fighter, maybe four to get like weapon specialization. That was it. Okay, let's see if we can pull one. Okay, it's coming towards us. It's doing that. It's annoying bullshit. Can't pull back for more. Okay, attack. You... Start with the old dispel. Um, target, I think? Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck you and your screech bullshit. Okay, the spell worked. Now, put this one to sleep. He needs a rage again. Uh, a range, yeah, it's a range touch attack. Charger potion. Paladin. Got no smart evils left. Shit. Again, oh, my MC died on minus 12 hit points again. God damn it. Okay. Uh, I, I actually prefer 4th edition Dungeons and Dragons over 5th edition. Um, I'm also a big fan of the World of Darkness. That is a cool system. A we... Goes a long way. we can use a bonded holy symbol to get back. And maybe heal some con damage. So, World of Darkness is the rule set based around um, Vampire the Masquerade. That's the most well-known kind of like aspect of it. So, if you've ever watched the film uh, Interview with the Vampire, that is effectively Vampire the Masquerade. Also, it's a very old game called Vampire the Masquerade. Not the new one coming out, maybe, probably not. 
The old game, fantastic game. Buggy as fuck, but fantastic. They were going to make an MMO, it's ca oh, it's cancelled, oh, okay. They had big problems with the development of that. Uh, actually, let's stop you guys. Do we have any kind of... Start to raid straight away. Pop this. And this again. Do we have any... Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, protection from evil communal. And let's pop a bless. And... I don't think it's a fair effect, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, everyone attack this guy. Uh, you need to try and sleep the next one as soon as it comes in range, that one. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. Oh, haste. Thank you. Probably put this lovely green rod here. Uh, Ember and her hexes. Mwah. Look at this. It got is got put to sleep. Um. Oh wait. Oh fuck! Someone did some damage to it. Oh, and he was stunned, so he couldn't. Oh, when do I find everyone get there as quickly as possible? Why did you have to shoot it? One rock on his own, we should be able to deal with. Yeah. Okay. And quick save. There we go. You're only 15 buffs and he's cursed to pass level 15. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Uh, there's also, with the Word of Darkness stuff, there's actually a lot of... Um, it's because it's all based in the real world. Oh, wait, shit. Who's taking damage and why? Rock deals damage to Tickles. Oh, he's probably damage, uh, some sort of spell. The lore behind the Word of Darkness is fantastic, and because it's set in the real world, like the, um, what is it, the, in London, the Museum of Natural History is, um, what's called a chantry to a clan of, um, vampires called Tremere, who specialise in blood magic, and, like, the, all this, like, it's, it's one of the most lore-rich Real world settings, I think. Spores. Uh, okay, we're not going to die from it, but that's. Oh, shit, we might. You can't use it on yourself. Yes, it does. Uh, lay on hands. Bragginton. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to be lazy. Oh, wait. Some loot here, which we missed. What do we miss here? Ah. Okay. Ah. Damn it. We did miss some loot. Okay, I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to haste us just so we can run up to here, get the loot and run out again. Ah. This is fucking trash. Oops. The cookery. Oh yeah, we never got to see the cookery, did we? Um, a radiant cookery plus one. Uh, plus one radiant finesse wielding. A radiant is... Uh, 1d6 extra positive energy damage on a successful hit. I think Window Alg needs a backup. Oh, she's still got Marching Terror, hasn't she? She's got... So let's give her the radiant cookery. And... Okay, the Retriever's Claw. Backup weapons. What does her attacks become? I think we need to give her two weapon fighting. That's a cool looking weapon though. Even if it is clipping through her leg. Uh, actually, no. Oh, she can't use that because it's in there. Hmm. We'll give her them anyway. Maybe later we'll give her some two weapon fighting feats. OK. 
Okay, a more quick save just in case we get jumped by something as we leave because we are horribly hurt and wounded. It's just nasty stuff. Right, uh, time to leave this silly place. Did we get all the loot? Yes. Uh, we found something called an underground hideout. That's not the war camp though. Where's the war camp? Is it still way back? Ah, that must be... Okay. So maybe... So where's our war camp? Ah, it is here. Oh, thank Christ. <gasps> Don't worry, move for a minute. I thought we'd lost our war camp. Um, I wonder what happened to that halfling person we found. Uh, is he going to be anywhere around here? First of all, let's sell this stuff. Uh, oh, we lost too many good... Oh, gee, I didn't... Uh, you flashed you uh, a smile. What a champion, eh, Commander? What if we get it in... Oh, what a campaign. I'm having a million years. I can't stop shaking whenever I think about... The leopard's smile. We lost too many good men. Morale is low and the air is despondent. Some soldiers can't shake off the horrors they've seen. Others are mourning their friends. What if we hold awake? Light up bonfires? Pour the wine? Raise goblets for the fallen? The lads could go with a feast. I mean... A feast? Pouring wine? A bonfire? Raising goblets? Fuck yeah, that's all about me. <laughs> We're not going to mourn the fallen with goblets, but oh, fuck that. Let's commemorate the fallen. Give the soldiers some wine, but not enough to get smashed. Never, Commander. Everything will be proper, solemn, and with due respect for the fallen. We're holding a wake, not a cellar wedding ceremony. I really wish they'd take into account who my god was, and it's like, yeah, fuck it, let's have a piss up. I saw you talking to a girl hiding her face. Who was she, and what did she want? Don't know, Commander. She never did introduce herself, but I bet she's not part of our army. I know all our soldiers, both by name and sight. She was looking for some elf volunteer. Wanted to know which tent he was sleeping in. At first, I thought she was a messenger from Mendev. She definitely wasn't one of us. But now I understand how suspicious the entire thing looks. Has she really been a snoop? No idea. Show me what you got. Alright, I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell that. I really like momentum. Uh, we're going to keep the purple stone. Oh, momentum's going to be Wendu's second weapon. Sell that. Let's sell the Marching Terror. Lusty Longsword. Ooh, what's this? Voice of Hollow. Uh, whenever the wielder this plus two mithril heavy mace confirms a critical hit with it, a loud sound is produced. Enemies in a 30 foot cone, except the target, have to pass a will save DC 16 or will be affected by the Voice of Hollow effect for 1d4 rounds. Uh, every turn the target is randomly affected one of the following. 50% chance they behave normally, but suffer 2d6 sonic damage, or 50% chance they attack the nearest creature. Ooh, that's an upgrade for our paladin. Alright, uh, so I'm going to keep that. And we're going to sell that. Uh, we're going to sell your short bow because you're never going to use it. I'd love to keep the Elven Curve Blade. Um, I think I will. I think I'll put it in the chest. Sell the plus one hide armor. Breastplate plus two. Sell that. All the camping supplies which we don't need. Because they're not used anymore in the game. But they haven't removed them yet. Uh, yeah. 19 grand, we're then up to 44, lovely. 
Okay, so Pally Equip this thing. Uh Renderog, you're not gonna use that. You're gonna have momentum as your light offhand weapon. Which gives us purple stone. The evocation spell school. Uh, no. No, you can't. Vital Strike is just a melee attack. So, purple. I sadly can't use purple stone and that at the same time. That's annoying. Trevor's Claw. I mean, we're never going to use the use the lad. Um, but let's give him. The retriever's claw and sack because yeah he's got two weapon fighting right um i want to go into this place here and i want to buy because i keep forgetting to buy oh okay keep anything new with this guy no that's ah, some loot in here i haven't picked up how did i miss this uh, I need to buy some stuff from this guy. So I think he sells purifying solution. I buy all of it. Let's buy the mutated fish. Um, and we should probably pick up that at least, and that. Rice, the wine. There's a lot of stuff we should probably be picking up from here. Okay, how much was that? Okay. Let's spend a lot of money. Let's buy... All of the... Reagents. So we can at least do cooking, and we can then also do spell scribes and all that jazz eventually. Damn it. Some of these are expensive. Uh, maybe I'll stop there actually. Wow, they do get expensive. Oh, I get that, I guess. Um, do you have any other recipes? Red salamander, what's this? Uh, plus twos, bunch of... Bunch of potions, which is really tempting. Um, I'll buy one scroll, two scrolls of restoration, one to keep on hand and one to use. Um, yes, there are definitely rods in this. And yeah, do that. Because then we'll go. Uh, I suppose we should probably res. But it's so much. No, well. <laughs> So the druid will sit dead until uh, our priest levels up enough to get raised dead because I don't want to spend the money on them. Um. And then we'll rest, which will teleport us straight back to our hut. We should then be able to... Oh shit, I didn't remember was that. How much damage have we taken? Um... Five. Okay, fine. Rest again. We're still at five, or have we gone up a point? Okay. God's sake, we're going to get one back. 
Turinos. Ooh, the mysterious elf is in our chambers. Okay. Um, we'll rest, get rid of that last piece of con. We'll save. What do you want? You keep popping up in our camp. What do you want from me, soldier? Soldier? I'm the knight fucking commander, I'll have you know. In an exasperated gesture, she rips the half mask off her face. Her skin is black like onyx. Her eyes have a menacing ruby glint to them. Uh, let's see if I can do the knowledge well. Take a closer look at her strange appearance. Hey. It appears that this woman is a drow. Her race is known as... Uh, dark or cavern elves. They are rarely seen on the surface. It's so surprising when her kind are encountered here. Yeah, don't call me soldier. I am the commander of the crusade. Everyone's a soldier in a war. Generals and privates alike. Uh, yes. Kind of. I think. I don't know if... Uh, maybe I could have got clerical things off of him. Oh, in Defender's Heart. No. No, there is not. I look at you, and I see one for whom war is life. That makes you a soldier. Um, I know who you are. You're Kay Lesser, a cultist of Tuscari. That's a lie! Her crimson eyes flash as she says firmly, I loathe demons, and I'll kill any I come across. Uh, take a closer look at her. She's clearly holding something back, but... She doesn't appear to be lying either. Whatever it is she's hiding, her claims of hating demons sound quite convincing. You're not lying, but you're not telling me the whole truth. What? Was I supposed to pour my heart out? You have your war, soldier. I have mine. You're fighting chaos and madness, and I... I'm fighting lies and pretense. We both are willing to die for our causes, aren't we? Why would Fawn slander you? Oh, you need to cure death's door. I think resting in Defender's Heart might cure that. You are asking questions that are dangerous in and of themselves. I urge you to stop. The more you know about me, the higher the chance that a dagger of, of a traitor might find its way into your back. I believe you. Fawn is in the camp. Watch out for him. With a crooked smile, she, she says grimly, he's the one that should watch out for me. Ooh, intrigue. Let's go chat to him. She's probably following me invisibly. And she's probably going to jump out and attack the guy as soon as I find him. Oh, I guess not. The elf's beautiful and pale face bears expression of a sad aloofness. How may I help? I think Kaylessa might be a drow. You see a shadow pass over Fawn's eyes for a single instant. And his face is just impassive as before. A drow? Unlikely. It's more plausible that her dark surface has left a brand similar to the one that twisted the entire cursed drow race. A coincidence, I would think. I met Kaylessa. His melancholic expression remains calm, but his entire body tenses up and his fingers wrap around the handle of his weapon. Under what circumstances, I hope he sees the opportunity to kill her. Um... Are you confident about your allegations? He's low he lowers his head and says in a hollow voice, I am. Her misdeeds are terrible and proven with absolute certainty. She claims she doesn't serve the demons. Of course she does. It's an attempt to buy her life. She would stoop to the boldest and most egregious of lies. Whose word would you believe? Hers or mine? I let her go. But to giving you a sand and look, Fawn stares off into the distance. Your decision is regrettable. I'm afraid that in doing so, you've condemned her many future victims to death. I suppose it just means that bringing this hunt to a close falls upon my shoulders. Good fortune to you. I want to know more. Where is she? Like, I want to know more about this shit. Maybe I chose the wrong thing. Maybe she is actually evil. Hmm. Damn it. Is she back in the... Is she back in my tent, maybe? No. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put the oven curve blade in there. 
Uh, drop the dead druid out of the party. And pick back up Camellia, I guess. Okay. Let me do a quick save. Okay. Okay. Thank you everyone for joining me today. Um, I'm actually appreciate the follows. Uh, just do company. That's, that's why I do it. Uh, I will be streaming again tomorrow evening. Um, same time again, 7 till 11. I will announce all of the stuff as usual on both the Twitter and in the Discord. Um, I will upload this stream to YouTube. Um, I also still need to upload uh, yesterday's stream. I'll do that tonight uh, onto the YouTubes, uh, which is where you can find my previous run as well. Until next time, guys. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Wear a fucking mask. Bye, guys. <laughs>